Terry White. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber already, I encourage you to subscribe so that you will be notified every time we have posted a new video. Today we're talking about four steps to repair a broken family. Four steps to repairing a broken family. So the question is, how do I know that my family is broken? <laughs> Or what is it that's going on that makes me think that my family needs help? So when we're talking about a broken family, that's not necessarily mean that it's broken to the place that it can't be fixed, but it does mean that maybe your family has a high level of dysfunction, or maybe it means that your family has a lot of things going on and it is not knowing how to get back to functioning at a high level or operating at a very healthy level. There are families that have a brokenness or a dysfunction that has been normalized or it looks like this is just the way that this family normally operates. And so everyone in the family has adjusted to the way that it's operating and it has normalized different ones' behaviors by saying things like, well, that's just the way mom is or, you know, this is how our family functions and operate. And the problem with that is that the family is not really getting the healing. The family is not um, understanding that some of their ways are unhealthy. And the issues behind that is that you have children that will go on to be parents. You have children that will eventually have their own children one day and their own families one day. And they take all of that brokenness or that dysfunction, that healthy way of living into their new family or into new relationships. And so today I want to focus on the four steps for healing and repairing a broken family. So when we're talking about repairing, that doesn't mean that the family is going to be perfect. It does not mean that the family is fixed all of the problems, but it does mean that the family is on their way to a process of healing, that the family has started acknowledging and identifying that there's a lot of areas of dysfunction that need to be fixed or can be fixed. And so the first step is just acknowledging that there is a problem. Um, that's a big issue for a lot of families is acknowledging that there is a problem, meaning that, you know, mom and dad is able to see that, you know what, we got a lot of stuff going on in our families that's just not healthy or is really unbalanced and we need to do some fixing or we need some healing in our family. And so when the family is able to acknowledge that there's issues going on and that the issues are causing a lot of problems in other areas, then the family is now able to start the process. It's hard to fix something that you don't see as broken, right? If you don't see that there's a problem, if you don't see that there's unhealthy interaction or dysfunction, then you're not feeling like there's anything there to fix. So acknowledging that there is a problem will be a key um, step in this process. So then the next process is um, deal with your own issues before bringing the family together. Dealing with your own issues and your own issues meaning mom and dad. Deal with your stuff before you bring your family together. Because let me tell you, kids are not shy about saying, how are you going to tell me how to do something when you and dad are this, this, and this? Or how are you going to bring the family together when we can't see, you know, you and dad show affection to each other or you and dad are always in disagreement or arguing? So parents, deal with your issues first. You know, if it's individual, is it, if it's as parents, sit down and talk about the things that you have going on. Again, that doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect. But you're acknowledging that, you know what, we have some stuff going on among ourselves that we need to get fixed before we can start working on the family as a unit. Because you are a key piece to the rest of the family working on their issues. Okay, so that's step two. Step three in the process. Step three is parents first. Your parents. Deal, become a parent. Become a unit. Become 
a sync together as parents because how are you going to talk to the children about things that they need to work on if the two of you are not together with the things that you do? How are the two of you going to parent kids if you're so different in every area of parenting? And so there's some things that you have to come together on and be willing to talk about as parents as you're bringing the family together to repair, okay? So parents, your parents first. Let's talk about how you can deal with, with conflict. Let's talk about how you resolve family issues as parents. And again, this does not have to be perfect, but it does need to set an example for your children to see, to say, you know what? My parents may not be perfect in everything, but we do watch and see them deal with problems. We do see how they manage stuff that happens. And so that's going to help us as kids know how to operate within this family system. All right, so now we're talking about step four. Step four is the family coming together for the healing process to begin. Family coming together. This means the whole family unit has to come together. This is not where it's a dictatorship. This is not where mom and dad is saying, okay, everybody has to do this or everybody has to do it my way. This is when the whole family comes together. And this is a key part because this is where parents really have to take a big bite out of humble pie and listen. You need to listen to what the children are expressing because this is how they view their family system. This is where kids are talking about what they're seeing, what they're experiencing. And you don't have to agree with it, but you do need to listen and understand that this is their individual feeling. They feel what they feel. And so now you're able to start the process of healing with your family. This is where parents can express to the children and help them to see or help them to say, okay, so you feel this way about the family. You feel like maybe we're a dictatorship or maybe we've been very strict. Okay, but as a parent, as a mom, as a dad, this is what I'm experiencing or this is what I feel you know, is happening in our family system. And so this is how I see our family can come together. Let the children participate on what this process looks like for healing. Let them have an input and a say-so on, okay, I think we need to, you know, to pray together as a family. I think we need to talk more as a family. Or I think you guys need to listen more about what we're expressing that's happening in our family. What do your children see as a crisis in the family? What they see as a crisis, parents, you may not. And what you may see, the children definitely may not see. So for parents, you may be feeling like them being around certain groups of friends is a, is a crisis. And for your children, that, that may be something that's perfectly normal. You may feel that, you know, one of the kids being um, in a dangerous situation or doing drugs, you may feel that that's a crisis. And for your children, they may have normalized that. And they're normalizing it based on their environment, based on their associations. And so you have to dig in more and ask questions. Why does this seem normal to you? Why does it seem like it's okay for one of your siblings to be a homosexual? Why is it okay for, you know, one of your siblings that's a teenager to be pregnant? Why does that feel like it's okay and it's accepted? And have the discussion with them so that you can better understand where they're coming from. And have those family discussions to help them see why you feel it's a crisis or why you feel it's a, it's a brokenness in the family and how this family can begin to start the repairing and the healing process. So again, we've talked about the four steps, four stages to healing a broken family or repairing a broken family. And again, that doesn't mean that your family is going to be perfect. But it does mean that your family is moving in the steps of repairing some things that have been broken or dysfunctional. Thank you again for joining me. As always, please leave your comments, questions in the comment section. 
share and subscribe so that you're updated about upcoming videos or that you know when we're posting a new video. Thank you for being a part of my show. 